So apparently somebody sent it to the group sometime, but I'm not sure who sent it. So whoever sent this paper, thank you so much. It's a great tree paper. And um, I'll be doing the solution. I'm trying to go through this as quick as possible. All right. So number one says, what is 584 written in expanded form? So what they want us to do is to just expand it and it must be the same value. So as you can see, there's only three options. So it would be A, when you add all three, 500 plus 80 plus four, you should get about 584. Couldn't be this because 50 plus 80 is 130 plus four, that's 134 and this is 5 plus that 13 plus that of the 17. So the value would have to be the same. All right, number two, which number is greater than 5,643? Is 3,564 greater than 5,000? No. Right, 5,643 greater than 5,643. No, it's equal to it. So the answer would be 6,345. Uh, 6,000 is greater than 500. All right, this one says, what digit is in the 100? Let's write underline that, 100 please. So this is ones, tens, and this is 100, so that is five. Let's move on to number four. So if a child in grade three, they should know all of this. Well, if they're going to grade three, they shouldn't, but when they're going to grade four, they should. All right, what number is shown by the blocks in the picture below? So we have one of these. We have one of these and that, so that will be two of these, right? So it's not so two. Let's double check. check. We have four of this. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And we have nine. So that's nine, four, two. This can be a little bit tricky. So you have to pay attention to the little ones. All right. All right. On to number five. What is 247 rounded to the nearest 10? What they're saying. When you say to the nearest 10, the nearest 10 is either 240 or 250 because it's 10, right? It's not by the 100. If it was the nearest 100, that either be 300 or 200. So, guys, if you know the language, oh, if you do one video on um, 100s and 10s and something you know, around it now, oh Lord, you need to go do that. All right? So, this now, to get is either two for let's, let's put it in perspective. Is either two forty or two fifty? We'll find it practical, right? So this is gonna be two forty one, two forty. Right, so if you say two forty one, two forty two, two forty three, etc. So it will go all the way up here. So, so it's actually distance, you know, guys. So you see, two forty seven. You're gonna need three more. We go to 250. So the nearest thing would actually be 250. Which kind has a value of $10? What up, what up, what up? Welcome to Lennox Bennett channel. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Um, this would be B. Yeah. 
I mean, class seven, I really have no value, but this is our five dollar, this is ten, and this is twenty. Guys, you know, system, no more money, them, system, no more kinds, them. All right, number seven, what is the missing number? So we have to find out what is the missing number in the sequence. Oh, Lord. So we have 20, we add three, we get 23, add three, yeah. So that would be 26 plus three would be 29. And 29 plus three would give us 35. Guys, remember you have to try the questions before I do the solution, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay to the end. Mr. Lennox Bennett, I appreciate you all. Which is three and five eighths? So which is three and five eighths? So this represents a natural number, right? Or a whole number. And then five eighths. So five eighths would be five out of eight. All right, guys, we want to look funny things practically now. Some awesome, awesome, brilliant students more up on that channel, yeah. All right, they go on to number nine and they say, which shape does not show up shaded? All right, so this would be up, right? Because if you turn over this over here, so it would be up. So it is definitely this. Remember, guys, you see this different shape? See, so it's not uh, all right. So that would be guys. You have to smart in a time. Yeah, that was number 11. This is number nine. So, all the people are still so, anyway. The person that sent it to me, um, uh, thank you so much for checking this in all of it. I see I'm at 12 already, so I miss out some. All right, number 12, which set of fraction is in the order from the smallest to the largest? Guys, this look familiar? Didn't I just do this on my channel? How to rank fractions? I know I'm gonna do it. So we have a half. I should just make you guys leave this in the comment section here because I just did videos on ascending order, right? And it's the same thing come back. All right, so we'll find the lowest number that two, three, and four can go into without the remainder. Guys, I'm gonna jump a step in. I'm gonna jump step when I teach. Just imagine, say, come out of the middle. I got a joke, man. So we'll go by two, right? Can put the fourteen so. All right, then we we'll go by three, so that'll be three, six, each time adding three, nine, twelve. Let us see if we're gonna get twelve in the next one. So twelve in this one. So four, eight, twelve. So the LCM will be 12, all right, guys? So we'll just, so 12 in, 2 into 12 goes six times, six times one is six. So the value of a half is six. So three into that goes four times, one times four is four. Put the comma now. 4 into 12 goes 3 times. So the smallest one would be a quarter because 3 is the smallest number. So a quarter must be at the front. Next, followed by a half. So that would be B says a quarter, followed by a half. One third rather, this C. Sorry about that, guys. 
looking at the wrong options, all right? So let's move to 13 and see what it says. Which set of circles shows the same fraction of the shaded circle as those in the rectangle? Awesome, awesome question. All right, so it can't be this because all is shaded, right? So let us eliminate this right away. Couldn't be this. It says either this or this. So let us reason out it now. What do you guys think? Is it A or B? All right, so let us see how many is shaded. One, two, three. So three out of how many in all? One, two, three, four. All right. So let us look at this one now. One, two, three. Let's see how many shaded. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, I put how many shaded first? A six out of. Let's see. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's six out of eight. Or is it one, two, three, three out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Is three over four the same as three over eight? No, it's not. So it is six over eight. And if I check it, I break down this to its lowest term. Let's imagine you have eight, you have four, and you take out three. Take out another four, and you take out another three. So three plus three is six. So that is eight. So we're on to number, two. so we're on to 13. Guys, if we could just send them out the paper, part of it is missing. From 9 to 12 is missing. What is the sum of 2,641 and 1,425? My students, my students, what would be the answer? Let us see. We just add it for sure. We're not taking it for granted, you know, one thing we have in it. Straight 100, we expect from you know, straight 100. Leave, leave a like for that. So then you want to take it to the highest level. Not just to pay for something, but guess what? So that will be six, right? Two and four, that's six again. Four plus six, that's 10, so it's zero, carry one. So right now we know it's 4,000, because Zero comes there, right? So, can I get these three number? You know, it's correct. So, that's 14 is A. All right, the sum of 129, 1249, and 594 to the nearest 100 is. This, is a, this one is even more delicate. You have to do all of it. So write all of it. Add it. Find the total. And then we we'll see if it's nearer to 1800 or 1900. All right. So no matter rush it. I want you guys to do it. And put that in the red chat. I'll leave it in the comment section. Four and nine, that's 13, so it's three. Sorry, one, nine and 10. And I want 10 and that's 14, four, sorry, one. Five and two, seven and one, eight. And we have 1,843. Now, in order to make it up to 900, how much more would we need? We need 57, right? So we're going to compare 57 and 43. Right? So it's easier for drop our 43 to get to 1800 than to get a whole leap of 57. So it's easy. All right. Let's move on to whatever number from <laughs> um, 16. The diagram below shows 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 10. In which other way could this be written? Or could you get 10? Is it 5 times 2? 
6 plus 4 are 5 divided by 2. Now, this question is a little bit tricky. But, um, students, you have to observe what they gave you, right? So, they gave you, let's see how many times you jump. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So, then jump 5 times. How many of them going by? Is it 1 or is it 2? So, guys, even though 5, 6 and 4 is 10, it is actually five times two because it, it jump five times and you jump two places. Big up to the primary school teachers. I know you guys are not appreciative enough. Big up to the early child teachers. I know you guys are not appreciative enough. Big up to the high school teachers. You guys are not appreciative enough. Big up to the university teachers. I know you guys are not appreciative enough. But guess what? You guys go to work every day and you do your work gracefully, all right? And you're helping lots of children to accomplish their dreams. Keep on fighting, all right? Keep, in, put, keep on putting the energy every day. I know it takes great motivation to do it, so big up on yourself. So I've been it appreciating. And if see the result come out and if it then get real one and I call you, don't vex. That's how you go. All right, you go for yourself. It's gonna do the job. All right, Rai loves, Rai, Rai loves to leave. How many leaves does he have to make to get to eight? He starts at zero and the leaves by two. So the first leaf, him leave at two. So him leave for one time, two time, him leave three time. And you leave four times, so that is four. It's like it's like saying four twos is eight. I love this paper. I love it. I love it. I love it. Whoever sent me this paper, pick up yourself. Just a minute, appreciate you. All right. What number sentence does this picture show? Is it two by six? Let us see. How many of them? How many columns? One, two, three. Right? So it's three columns. How many in there? Four. All right. So is it four by three? Or is it three by four? And I see me, I think I'll find this one. I know it's three columns. One, two, three, and a four and nine. Are yo, this 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 I don't I don't know the principle behind this. <laughs> no, sir. No, 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 no. What number sentence does this picture show? Guys, leave this in the comment section. All right, these are my opinion. Um, I'm gonna go by the column and say you have three column and four nights, all right? But I don't know if this is correct. Um, somebody shed some light on this to me now. Yeah, man. Because I don't know, I don't, I need to do some research on, on that. These are very interesting questions. I know it's not four. I, I, I definitely go by, by that, all right? Stand by that. Stand by that. Number 19. Which diagram shows 30 divided by 4? So I was sitting on the thing and now. All right. So we have a uh oh oh you have to do that. See see two room in there. As I said, four sevens are twenty-eight. So we have four. And two remainder. Because I was wondering, you know, I was wondering. So that was actually easy. So when you're tired, I'm going to show you at 12 o'clock in the night. You're tired, sir. Come here, sir. I have to continue. I have to continue. Use the diagram below to answer question 20. What is the product shown? So 
So it's one, two, three, four. So it's three of them. Guys, I don't know the order anymore. The order should be matter this time, all right? It's three of them, three columns, and it contains four. So that is 12. So the other one with the four by three and the three by four. That have me thinking a lot, you know, because I don't know the rule behind that. I don't know if it's matrices, it's row by column, but I don't know in general what's the rule. Right, you see that? We live and we learn. All right, six times four is equal to 24. What is 24 called? Is it factor, sum, or product? And that is a product. If I multiply it, you get the product. See, see them get then I said, no. what is the product of 23 and 4? So we're going to multiply 23 by 4. Four three is 12, 2 carry 1. 4 2 is 8 plus 1, so that's 92. And yes, guys, I do know all of my efforts, you know. Doing this for grade three, so yep, 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 yep. I'm have to show this up. Which of the following is not the same as six times eighteen? So, guys, I would just advise you to really, really find the total for each. Find the answer for each. All right. So, if we multiply eighteen by six. I'm thinking this is some government testing. Like right, government test of the stress period. 6, 8, 48, okay, okay. So we're going to find the value of 6 times 18, 6, 1, 6, and that, so it's 108. So whichever, which of these come to 108, we're going to work with it, all right? 6 times 10, that is 60. 6, 8, 48. So we find the winner already, all right? So we're not going to go any further. 8, 6, and 4, 10, so it's 8. What is, I, I, I need to do long division and math, so you know, I don't so know for the right thing, so we have to do it. Help students, we work on ourselves. Adults, we run this big of yourself, all right? Appreciate you all, wherever you are in the world. All right. So five into two, you can't. So you can put a zero, so you know, no people don't know that. All right. Sometimes them say leave his space. The musical primary school and leave his space. All right. So you can put the zero, so you don't make no mistake. Five into 20 goes four times. Then I said four times five is 20. So now, what you'll be doing is to subtract, right? 23 minus 20, that gives me 3 right here. All right. And then 5 into 3, how many 5s I can get over that? Three? Or should you carry down the the arm on the first and see. All right, so carry on the four, then subtract that, carry on the four. So now we don't just have three anymore. We have 30 now, 34, right? Five into 34, that goes about six times. And five, six, 30. Subtract again, carry on this. Subtract this and get four. Carry on the zero now. As I said, guys, adults can't do them anyway. Five into that eight. And 
the remote for you now stop until you get to zero 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 or remainder less than five right so you can uh, remain the four remainder three we go up to my primary school teacher and do an excellent job with me you know uh, she would you know appreciate you know so it's appreciate you know all right which is the best estimate of 375 times 5 and that will be 2000 not 20,000 not 200 all right so what I teach the students everything critically is not all the time it's a bug um work out work out it's critical thinking these are awesome something if 296 marbles are shared equally among three friends, how much will each friend get? All right. So now one night, now one thirty two that. Now one thirty two. Now one thirty two that. I divide so three into three, one. Three into that. Three and three into that. I, I, guys, I'm going to do some long division on the channel. Definitely going to do that long division. So, you can swap one. What time it is? What time is it? Mom bakes cupcakes for the school top shop. For a cupcake, three holes, one dozen. If she gets an order for 48 cups, how many batches will she have to make? So, she needs one something like dozen mean 12 right so this is saying how many sets of 12 can give you a total of 48 how many times you add 12 to itself right one stop at 12. Well, so how many of these you would need to make 48, right? To be 12, and then you add 12 more, so it would be four batches. I think you guys would, would get that as 12 contain. And you could just do it practically, you know, just I'm saying, you have to die right below my peeps. So you see, one. And so on and so on and so on and so on. And then you count all of them because of addition. I don't know how people are reading me. I don't know. 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 All right. So it's the four batches to give you 48. If you add all of these, you get 40. It says four batches. All right, let's move on to 28. A class student, a class of students is divided evenly into four groups, which could not be the total number of students in the class. And it would be a number that is not divisible by four. So 36 divided by four is a nine. It's actually this one. And if I divide, once I get the remainder, but you guys would um, try all of them, right? Four into four goes one, four ones, four. So that's a zero. Carry on the six. Remember, I carry on the six. And then I divide. Four into six goes one time. And then four ones four. So when I subtract, I get two, right? So now I mean that's the up, up top. You get remainder. So it, that means you know equal. It not equal like how in like when them rob you. So I'm gonna pay a taxi. All right, twenty nine. Tom has a total of fifty three marbles. He has twenty red ones, eighteen blue ones, and fifteen yellow ones. Which color of marbles can be shared equally into? Four groups. This is this is awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. So let's just look at what he has. He has 53 total. Now 
20 red. Put it right here, sir. By the I want my preps will and see why I emphasize on knowing a timetable is a very critical component. It's the foundation and what you um the, the, the maths is built on addition and um division and so on. That's what they're very important. All right. So which of these can be divided equally by four and that will be twenty? So the answer is red. Big up my friend Fred. Yeah. Let's move on to 30. Marsh got three bags of sweets from her aunt. If she shared two thirds of one bag with her friends, how many sweets does she have left? Yo, this 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 is awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. So Marsh got three bags of sweets from her aunt. So let's just look at that. She got three bags from her aunt. If she shared two thirds of the one bag. So one of the bags. Wow, 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 wow. Yes, 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 she got three, so she shared one of them, right? And out of the one, she gave away two thirds. So it's one minus two thirds. So that means that how much she have left out of this? One minus two thirds, that is one third, right? And remember, she already shared one, so she now have three again. So it's two and one third. This is awesome, man. Awesome. So I um high school students need to get them to say, you know, you know what? That's an awesome question. This is a based on government. So. Shanice at half of a cake, Kimar at one tenth of a cake, of the same cake rather, and Christine at three ten. What fraction of the cake did they eat all together? Together, let's see. That nine over ten or so. I'm not going to add them now. How do I eat this cake? I don't know, but now I eat my cakes here. So we need to add up all the cake, so, right? Guys, we know the answer are nine over ten. I'm not sure the students can eat. They're young. Alright, so guys, we're adding fraction to find the look. The lowest common multiple in this case it will be 10 as 10 you can go into 10 without having that 10 can go into itself right remember 2 can go into all even numbers so 2 into 10 that's 5 times so we have 5 years 10 into itself 1 so multiply by 1 guys this is not about the fraction it's about the reasoning most students could look and say no man you have two that uh, have three plus one that are four already plus half. They already pass a half, but this represents the half. So some students will know how to do it and then to add three. So I just want to show the working work. So five and one six and that nine over ten. So I need to appreciate everybody who support me and everybody. I hope everybody who support me is having it. Is anybody? All right, so so let's move on now. How many meters are there in one kilometer? And that is a thousand. Remember, kilometer and thousand, right? So, and the 33, which is equal to one liter, and that's a 1,000 milliliter. And teachers, please take time to show this to you. So, how many minutes make one hour? That is 60 minutes. 
66 21 60 minutes 1 hour 24 hour 1 d 7 days 1 week 4 weeks 1 month 12 months 1 year and then I think they have like 100 years 1 century and then this is 10 10 years 1 week I remember but yo I miss being young. <laughs> no responsibility in the world. All right, Karen had a netball practice for three quarters of an hour. How long did her practice last? So, we could look on it now. One hour, 60 minutes, right? Half a 60, that would be 30, no? So, half a quarter, that would be. So that's gonna be 45, right? That's a three quarter. Um, your teacher would have spent time. I'll show you guys that. Um, no, I don't think I need to spend much time on that. All right, what time is shown on the clock? So let us identify first. Yo, this odd man, this odd little kid thing. It's after this on going this now. I think I'm going to sit and ask him. All right, what time is showing on the clock? But this has say what, 10, 25, right? Yeah, right. Short and is on 10. Well, between 10 and 11, so it means it's 10. And this means it's, it's a, the actual time at 10, 25. But they didn't ask them to tell them what time it is. So, you know, so I'm going to Jamaica talk so. 25 past 10, right? So it's 25 past 10. So I guess the teachers would have um, taught its students um, in that manner for them to pick. All right. Which of, which of the following would, would best measure a milliliter? I will go with a medicine or the other one. And again, your teacher would have discussed this video. Milliliter and so forth. How much water is in the jug? All right. So, judging by, I guess I go by two, four, six, two. It's two hundred milliliter right here. Why is it? You know what this is? I'm going up by two hundred, right? You guys can do trial and error. And you get this. So this as remember it's supposed to be a thousand. You just do like a trial and error and see if they get it. So this is an awesome, awesome critical thinking kind of stuff. So it would be eight hundred. The Smith family went on a vacation for 23 days in the summer. Approximately how long were they on vacation? So they have that now. 23 days. 73 is not 21. So it's actually three weeks. The students would have to know that the seven days means one week. So um, again, Teachers would have gone through that with them. So it's seven days, one week. They would have gone through that with their teacher. Right? Soon done, hopefully. But you know, which statement is true? 100 meter is equal to one kilometer that is not true 100 meter is shorter than one kilometer that is true all right and this is the wrong 100 meter is longer than a kilometer no 1000 meter actually means one kilometer so one to 41 what is the perimeter of the Rectangle. What is the perimeter of the rectangle below? Length of each 
square or am I going to measure the one two? So guys, what does perimeter mean? Everybody must kind of just everybody have to move, everybody have to move. Jesus is Jesus. Remember, perimeter is the total distance around. So, yes, somebody knows me. Let's see how it works out. This how it works out. This is with the perimeter, right? So perimeter is the total distance around. I can answer one, two, three, four, and the answer is 18. If they had asked us for area, it was area, it would be the number of square units inside. So it would be these. Let me see if I can see if I can this one. Alright, I'm gonna put the era one in red. So it's one, two, three, four. And I think they do it that way to check them with era, right? Seven, eight, nine, five, one, ten, eleven, twelve. So if it was area, it should have been 14, right? And you see them put the answer. Just in case you don't know the difference between area and perimeter. Alright, so you must know the difference now. A rectangle dog garden as a perimeter of 24 centimeters, which of the following could possibly be the measurement of the length of the beat. Alright, so if 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 the length are nine and the width are that. We can just add them here and see 9 and 3 are 12, right? And we double it. This 6 and 4 are 10, we double it at 20. 10 plus that are 40, we double it at 20. So this is possible. Right. right. And again, teacher, we have to go through that with you guys. And discussion. Pencil. A pencil, a pen, and a screw are being measured in centimeters below. Use information to answer question for each. Alright, so look at it carefully. 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 Which is the longest? Definitely the pen, ain't it? That's the same measurement. So the pen is the longest. Let's move on to 44. What is the best estimate for the area of the pentagon? Okay. Right, let's just see if we can find out the other one then first. All right, it's a part. So, so one. Remember, area is the number of square units. Two. Three, four, These are very good questions. Yeah, so. But I look for the solid one first, right? ones who are, who are sure of one. All right, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, all of them are solid, right? 15. Let's see if we can get some more. This would be 16, 17, and this eight. We can say this and this, the nine for long. So, ah, uh, yeah, this and this meant 19, right? So we have 19 right here, so a piece here and a piece here meant 19. All right. So we can say, whether the value of this, 
this and this is the then this is the and this is the 20. So 20 in a 20 in a work with. And then this now will be 21, 22. So about 22. So we are just work with 20. I don't know why I'm going to put it in there. Give them something exact, man. Come on. What is the estimate area of the yo guys? You leave that nine community. Can I write, guys? That's all my extra. So leave that on the safe point in Kalanga. Leave that in the comment section. Okay. All right, forty six. It's a use the shape STUV, which is this shape right here. So STUV double to answer 46 and 47. Which shape is similar to the STUV double? Oh, and that would be C. Yeah, it is C. We're not even looking at this. All right, so 47. It's a both of them related to it. If the dots in the shape are joined T to W, what shape should S T W make? S T W, S T W, S T W, S T W. Oh, that's a triangle. That's S T W, all right. General, 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 general. Let's see the verse. So that's a triangle. So that is 47 is a triangle. All right. 48. Which shape has only one line of symmetry? And that, again, that will be triangle, right? And Line of symmetry mean all oh, the many within the four them together, we get two exact points. We can get a line of symmetry right there, so I'll go this array. Hold on, hold on, change your mouth. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, pop on. Get a one, that's a hold on. I'll change the color one, too. Change it right so we can get a line of symmetry right there. So if I put all this one, this is called exactly. We can get another line of symmetry right there. You guys see any more? What about this one? Doubt it, you know? Wait. All right, so it comes so cool. When you fold this, will it fold exactly? And think about that. And you guys answer that in the comment section. That's very interesting. Though. So the answer is actually C. Forty-nine. Use information below to answer question forty-nine. Jack. Draw a picture on a piece of paper and fold it in half to get the shape below. So you get this, right? You get that one here. Which shape would be the other half? Alright. A look legit. I look on the rest. A look legit to me. Definitely A. Alright. So A. I guess um, the students will have known this. I think let's move on to fifty. The pictograph, I don't know what a pictograph is, right? A picture is used to represent whatever. Alright, the pictograph shows the number number and types of cars parked in a parking lot. Use it to answer question fifty. Toyota. 
Mazda. Girl them say Nissan. Girl them say Honda. The girl number, number, Honda. Alright, which type of car has two times the number of cars as Mazda? Two times the type of car as Mazda. And again, this have two, right? Two and two. One car represent two. The two and two is a total of four cars. Remember, two plus two. Let's add them in because I don't know the shop, sorry. See the key there? One that equals two cars. So this are six cars. So this are two plus two plus two. That's so one. This are seven. And two times it will be two. two, two. So that is equal to eight. Alright, so eight is double. So we know Sadi Honda, Honda, Alright. Alright, the table below show the favorite ice cream flavors in grade 3 class. Mm -hmm. Use the information in the table to answer question 51. So chocolate, key and key, strawberry, and green. How many students prefer strawberry? How many students prefer strawberry ice cream, right? So when I see the cross, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is nine. So guys, I'm gonna do a little bit further. This is five. Once I see it cross five, plus one is six. Five and five is ten. And this is five. Alright. So make it nice. See how we sampel it nice. Because we are, we are encourage critical thinking. I want you guys to be super smart. The graph below shows the number of students who choose one of four animals as their favorite pet. As their favorite pet, use the graph to answer question fifty. How many students prefer dogs than fish? Alright, so let us go to fish. How many fishes in the sea? There are two big three. Alright, let's go to dogs and that is seven. So in order to find how many, we subtract seven minus three and that gives us four. So um fifty two would be fifty three. May I report special a special bun, no so I don't have to come with that. <laughs> I don't have to come with that something there, man. May I report a spice bun. Two slices of cheese and a fruit juice and a bottle of water and a top shot. The cashier gave her three. One hundred dollar notes, four five hundred notes, and three twenty dollar fines for her change. How much change did she get back? Okay, okay. So let us see. Three one hundred dollar notes. So it's three hundred dollars, guys. Right? Three hundred dollar. I am all these must have the money I show on, right? Four five hundred. Four fifty dollar rather. And three twenty dollar. So six dollar. So I definitely we want to be sixty, right? Alright, so this is six dollar silver as a we Jamaican call it. This is about two hundred dollars and this are two hundred dollars. So I of two hundred. And then we get five sixty. I, I don't want a particular like that question. You know, for some young kids, it, it, it's a big challenge. You know, because of all the word and them somewhere. Okay, you never need to tell them this for spice bun and two slices of cheese and that. I don't think that was necessary to tell them. 
just tell him that he'll, he'll go to the job shop and you'll buy some stuff. The cashier give cheap as chain. You don't need to put these are seven year old, eight year old. I mean, come on. Um, I think we guys are pressuring them too early. So it's kind of rough when they get older. All right, Corey's father gave him an eight, and them eight months early. Them eight months, right? I mean, I get you them eight months. I can't do that. All right, Corey's father gave him an envelope for his birthday. He opened it and found the following notes in it. Use this information to answer questions. For how much money did Corey get for his birthday? All right, so you get $1,000, 500, 600, 650. So it's 1,600. And it's definitely Jamaica pay for this guys. So Jamaica money went on and for it at 50. Susie bought a bottle of water for $90. An apple for $50. And two pences for 20 each. Approximately how much more change you get from 500. So let me question on a review of the money. Susie bought. Susie bought a bottle of water for ninety dollars, so that means it's one ninety there. So now ninety, an apple for fifty dollars. So we bought an apple for fifty dollars. I'm writing to big already. All right. So Susie bought a bottle of water for ninety dollars, an apple for fifty dollars, and two pences for twenty each. So he's gonna buy two for twenty. So that's his forty dollars spent right there. Okay. So this trick come to forty dollars. So when he spend, he spend forty and forty ninety ninety. He spend one eighty. All right. And he had five hundred dollars. So he's five hundred dollars. So basically, he spend nearly two hundred dollars because this is pretty good. Cool. So the answer would be B. All right, it's approximate. It's not, it's not equal exactly. Fifty-six in the number four thousand six hundred and twelve. Which do you do you change to make it less than four thousand dollars? All right. So I can write out the number. But it's very interesting. Okay, I'll four, six, one, two. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna say the digit in the ones place. No, if you, if you put nine, yes, so it doesn't matter, it's not less than four thousand, right? The digit in the object place, no, the digit in the thousand, right? You can change this to three and less than four thousand, and that's the space value for you. 57 container B is. Container B is being used to fill container A. Approximately how many times will container B be filled and empty into container A before container A is filled? Alright, so it's a 40 milliliter. And full this one, you need 500, right? So it's definitely. Definitely 10 times. So 10 times 40 would be 400. Alright, and then now, you know, done yet. Can do two more. Two more, so it's 13. Alright, so you don't know the shape score already. 58. The difference between a short side and a long side of a rectangle is 4 cm. If the length of the short side is 3 cm, what is the perimeter? I love them so many awesome, awesome stuff. Alright, the difference between the short side. Alright, good job. I can give you guys a, a feel of what we got. It's always good to draw the rectangle so you can relate, right? And they said the difference between the short side and the rectangle. Long side of four. So then say the short side is three. So in order for the difference to be four, we add four to this, right? We get this. But uh, this would be like three plus four. Very difference, right? 
So this is actually seven. So this side is seven. But the difference is four. And the difference of seven and three is four. So this side is also seven. And this side is three. Let's see what they ask us for. What is the perimeter? Perimeter is the total distance around seven plus three is ten, and that so is twenty. We add all these, and that is our answer. All right, guys. Um, we have come to the end of the presentation. Mr. Benito, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Mr. Benito, appreciate all of you. You guys are awesome. If you have not liked the videos yet, please feel free to do so. Thank you guys. You guys can share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, I'm out. No doubt. We'll put a certain cement to create all our honor.